Death Valley Days. Whenever Christmas time comes around, it brings to mind familiar things. Ornaments of all types and sizes, gifts hidden behind colorful wrappings, and, of course, the Christmas tree itself. And they're familiar sounds, too. The happy sounds of carols, and children's laughter, and the joyful ringing of bells. Even the rugged saints and sinners of California's gold rush mining camps pause to think of Christmas and of the sound of bells. Which leads to our story. We call it A Bell for Volcano. Well, folks, that concludes the services. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a few words to say yet. This is the day which the Lord hath wrought. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We used to call that shack a church. It wasn't much, but at least it had a roof on it. Now it's gone. We're all out here under God's blue heaven. Now, I ain't complaining about his judgment. Hey! Hey, yo! busting up the reverend's remarks. You see that horse there? It's mine. My brand and my saddle. Well, who's arguing? Well, didn't you see him try to run off with it? No. Oh, stealing? That's a hanging offense. I didn't steal nothing. Down under where I hail from, you catch a thief, you find a tree. I didn't do it. I just made a mistake. Well, you made one mistake too many. <laughs> you... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can't hang a man on Sunday. He stole my horse on Sunday. You got an answer to that? I spent all my money last night buying whiskey in her saloon. I ain't over it yet. I couldn't tell one horse from another. Oh, you never owned a horse. Come on. Oh, no, no. Just no. a minute, Floyd. Look at him. Now, where'd he ever get the gall to steal a horse in broad daylight? Right out in front of God and everybody. Let us pray. Lord, you said let him who is without sin amongst you Cast the first stone. And you well know we got a camp full of sinners. Some is worse than others. You gave us a sign when all we had as the church went up in smoke. Now you've sent us another sign. But we're so busy digging for gold and calling names that we forgot that a town ain't a town without a church for sinners to get cured in. Lord, please forgive this scrawny skunk as much as possible, and show us a way to get a church, a real church, between now and Christmas. And there ain't much time. Amen. Now get going while you're able. Well, that uses up my part of Sunday. The rest is all yours, Maggie. Okay, come on, fellas. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. Good, 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 good morning. Oh, yeah. All right, fellas. Dry morning, wet afternoon. First yes. drink is on the house. Hey. 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 Let's go. Let's go. You girls get on back here and help me pour. Hey, how come, come all of a sudden you're so generous, Maggie? Oh, I don't know. You might say I got religion. You? Me. Now, everybody drink up. Another one? You'll have to wait till I make my speech. <laughs> now, listen, everybody. You all heard Preacher Davidson, how bad we need a church. And we're gonna get him one. Who's we? Us, including you, Whitey. That is, unless you're heading back home to Australia, which you ain't. Because if you do, you'll be back in that jail you busted out of. I'm no jailbird, Maggie. Well, I don't see any angel wings on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now who's gonna be the first one to shower down? Well, now, what's the matter? You rather have Preacher Davidson go on down the pike to Hungry Gulch? Spread it around that we're too small and stingy here to give the Lord back a little bit about what he's given us? Well, he ain't giving me enough for the work I'm putting in. 
You're eating and you're drinking, and you still got a chance to strike it rich. That's more than you had before. Put it down, Jack. Put it down. Now, here's my put in. Now, you dig, miner, dig. Well, it's more like it. Preacher Davidson saved your neck. Well, I ain't got a dime on me. Yeah, and if you had, you wouldn't put in. How much does it add up to, Maggie? Count it, Reverend. It's all yours. You mean you... you folks... You... Well, we had to do something to keep you from preaching at us day and night. Go on, count it. Comes to near as I can figure, including the dust, two hundred and eighty dollars. Make that an even three hundred. Well, that's mighty kind and generous of you all. But it's not enough to build your church, huh? Well, don't look at me, Maggie. I'm down to nickel number one. Maybe it's another sign. Sign? The Lord works in mysterious ways his wonders to perform. A bell. That's it, a bell. Ring out glad tidings, let all men hear. The other camps have churches, but none of them has a bell. We'll buy the bell first and ring it and call in every sinner from here to Sacramento. Why, sure. Sure, the bell will bring them in and we'll shake them down, huh? Oh, that is just to get some contributions to help you build your church. Where are you going to find a bell for sale? San Francisco, I guess. Who's got time to leave his diggings and go all the way to San Francisco? It will be Christmas by the time you get back. Well, I'll go. Oh, you need what you can take out of your claim worse than anybody else. We'll draw cards. Two low men go. Knowing you all like I do, there isn't a one of you I'd leave out of my sight without another one to watch him. Not with $300 in the kitty. Okay, boys, turn them over. Six, eight, ace, eight, six, queen, ace, eight, jack, five, four. Little bitty two. Who asked you in on this? The free country, ain't it? Well, it looks like you and me. I wouldn't travel with him from here to the front door. Well, then I'll go by myself. Oh, no, you won't. You lay your thieving paws on the Reverend's bell money and I'll cut your arm off. Right below your ears. I was only trying to help. I want you to know something, Maggie. That this is against my better judgment. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on. We're gonna look for that bell if we have to look all the way to Monterey. Cost me more than that in Boston. Well, maybe we could go uh, 150. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Take all we've got. Three hundred dollars. All right, she's yours. Good. We led that blasted thing all the way to the bay, and then we rode it across in a boat. And tomorrow we're supposed to load it on a. Steamer for Sacramento. Look at the blisters on my hands, Mr. 
What did you say your name was? Uh, my friends call me Honest Jim. Uh, go on, my friend. Well, if that big dumb ox Floyd Webster thinks I'm going to kill myself for a bell, he's got another thing coming. I'm skipping out tonight. Now, uh, I wouldn't be too hasty, my friend. I don't think you realize the vast possibilities in this bell of yours. With shovels selling at $20 each, a bell of the dimensions you describe can be converted into cash, lots of cash. All we have to do is get the bell. No, not a chance. If I know that Floyd Webster, he won't sleep a wink tonight guarding that bell as though it was made of pure gold. All right, then it's up to you. Somehow you'll have to lose the, uh, the big ox and get the bell back here to San Francisco. Well, how do I do that? When you get to Sacramento, get a wagon. Well, then? I know a place here where it can be converted. No questions asked. <laughs> it's a piece of cow. Oh. oh. Well, I got the bell loaded on the wagon. We're ready to leave for Volcano any time you're well enough. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my, your fever is worse. You're a very sick man. I ain't that sick. Oh, oh my. This is terrible. We ain't going to be able to get that bell to the Reverend in time for Christmas. And that poor fellow just counting on it so it does about break his heart. Oh. Unless, unless I take it myself. You? Oh, well, I know it's going to be a backbreaker, but I can manage somehow. How come you got so helpful all of a sudden? Well, I guess I got religion. You, you stay away from that belt, do you hear me? Oh, 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 now you just relax, Floyd. Relax and don't worry about a thing. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you come back here. You.
Buenos días, señor. Such a fine looking bell, Senor. <laughs> a man who owns such a fine bell must have other things of interest. Uh, dinero, perhaps. No es verdad, un poco de dinero. You want to hold me up? Uh, tell me. Why not? All right, give me. Vamos, hombre. Cut. So little from the owner of such a beautiful bell. Well. Eh? Must cost much money, huh? How much? You should know. Is your bell? Oh no, no, no! I don't own the bell. I'm just taking it to volcano. Volcano. It appears to me you are going the other way. Oh, it's that crazy horse here, not me. You see, there's a preacher in Volcano. He's trying to build himself a church. And they, well, I mean we, we promised him a bell before Christmas. Christmas is tomorrow. Is it? Well, I better be going. Wait! Wait a minute, senor. Here. Perhaps for the spirit of Christmas, you will do me one small kindness. As you see, I am without a horse. Well, what happened to him? The sheriff shot him. The bullet was meant for me. But I was on the other side of the horse. <laughs> uh, poor horse. I uh, will ride with you. No, no, I'm in a hurry, and I get... I, too, am in a hurry. <laughs> Por favor, señor. Y diga. This man of God in such a sinful place. Man of who? This man for whom you are taking the bell to his church. Oh, oh, Preacher Davidson. Davidson. Preacher Davidson. He works a mine in the Arroyo Coyote. Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, I know. <laughs> Stop here. Ooh. One moment, senor. You are a very lucky man. It was my intention to kill you. Yeah, I kind of thought so. You see, one time when I was being hunted, I was wounded. And this uh, uh, preacher Davidson, he took me in, took care of me. He asked no questions. He's a good man. I will never forget this. Uh, uh, vaya con Dios, amigo. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the money you took from me? Listen, I regret, senor. But even a thief must make a living. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess so. You need not have worried. Once I saw... All the trouble you go through, all the hard work for this big, heavy bell. I say to myself, there is a good man. One does not find many good men in this life. Believe me. Adios, amigo. <laughs> Oh. 
Wacko. Reminds me of when I was a nipper in Sydney. Best tree we ever had. How about a cup of Christmas cheer, Maggie? Well, I guess you've sure earned it. Floyd, you're back. I knew you'd make it. Oh, well, never mind about him. Where's the bell? Yeah, where's the bell? In Frisco by now. Well, what happened? Where's Jack Harris? Where do you think he is? Oh, we bought a bill, all right. A beauty. And I paid for it with a whole $300. And we got it as far as Sacramento, and then I took sick. And he ran off with a bell. You know, you're always preaching at us that there's some good in everybody. Well, let me tell you something, Reverend. If you'd have let us hang him the day he stole my horse, hey. What's that? Sounds like a bell. It is a bell. It is a bell! your bell, Reverend. I thought you said he stole it. Lord, we thank thee for this gift which brings to this sinful camp thy message of peace on earth to men of goodwill. Amen. I don't believe it. I'm seeing it and I just don't believe it. Hey, Reverend, I get to ring the bell, right? Right. You've earned it. And, uh, take up the collection? Oh, no. No, sir. You keep your thieving paws off the church building money. I think he's earned that right, too. Oh, go ahead and ring the bell. You stupid. 